One of the mountains that is most often visited by tourists spending their holidays in Zakopane is Gobawówka. It does not take long to go to Gobawówka as you can get to the peak by a funicular railway. The railway station down to Gobawówka is located near the lower part of Kropówki, the main representative street of Zakopane. The railway to Gobawówka, which is 1,338 meters long, was built in 1938, but in recent years it has been completely modernized. From the Gubawovka peak, which is located 1,123 meters above sea level, you can admire the beautiful panorama of the whole Tatra mountain range and of Zakopane. At the peak, tourists may also find numerous souvenir shops and a slide. Another place worth visiting is the Morski Oko, literally Marine Eye, lake. First, you need to get to Palenitsa Białczanska, from where tourists start their route to Morski Oko, along a nine kilometer long asphalt road, which runs through forest. Morski Oko is the largest lake in the Tatras, located 1,395 meters above sea level. It is surrounded by the highest Polish mountains, Rysa, 2,499 meters above sea level, Miegosiowiecki Szczyt Wielkie, 2,438 meters above sea level, and Mnich, 2,070 meters above sea level. At Morski Oko Lake, tourists may find one of the oldest and most beautiful mountain hostels in the Tatras, which is a starting point when hiking the surrounding mountains. Interesting sights await tourists in the Kostyaliska Valley as well. The valley is only a few kilometers away from the center of Zakopane, towards Chochowov. The Kostyaliska Valley forms a nine kilometer long deep rock gorge. When going along the valley, you may admire the rocks of extraordinary shapes and steep walls. Their shape was influenced by the Kostyalska stream that runs along the gorge and by the underground water. The Kostyaliska Valley may be visited on foot or by special carts. In the Kostyaliska Valley, one may also come across a real shepherd's shelter, in which original Oschipek, smoked cheese made from sheep milk, typical of the Polish mountains, is manufactured. When visiting Podhalla, one cannot neglect the local cuisine. Everybody knows Oschipek, the first Polish regional product protected by the European Union, Bunz, another Polish sheep milk cheese, and Kwasznica, traditional soup made from sauerkraut, meat and potatoes. You can taste all those dishes in many restaurants in Zakopane. Restaurants and inns fill up in the evenings as well. Enthusiasts of nightlife are numerous and that is why Kropovki Street is vibrant with life day and night.